All right then. So, as we said we were going to do... Ah! There's something we still haven't done. We haven't done the Yawn boss fight yet, have we? That's something we also need to do. Yeah, we haven't done that. That's a thing. We should probably do that. That sounds like an intelligent thing to do. Let's grab the green and red herbs so we can get ourselves a full heal. Um, well, it depends what the game spawns. I I don't know. I think we could probably we could probably um we could probably blag it. Uh, no, that was all the shotgun shells out of the, um, the standard shotgun. We've got the assault shotgun. It's got, like, about six, seven rounds in it. I think we could get our way through. I've got a handgun. I could use the handgun. I could use the handgun. We don't need this, do we? Do we need this? No. No, we don't. Oh. Tyrant's disappeared, everyone. Interesting. Yeah, it's this magnum is hidden behind some freaking pretty crazy walls, right? Look at those glorious GameCube graphics. What is it? Oh, hi. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Um, when you're, when you're quite finished. No, stop that. Stop that stupid, weird, silent dog thing. Yes, the first hunter. Mm. It kind of does. I can get behind it being uh, like behind a dog. It's not impossible. This room, of course, is still full of Lisa Trevor's. This is still a bad, bad room, everyone. All right, then. Uh, not particularly. No, I can't say that I yeah, we've got five shotgun shells. That's, that's not much, actually, is it? Yeah, that's a problem. We don't actually have very much of that. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the null key and the control room key, and we're going to attempt to get through this um, this this puzzle room. Now, I'm going to ask you guys in advance to tell me what the hell the puzzle solution is. Because we had this problem last time and it created an almighty mess. So let's attempt to not die in here. I mean, I don't know what it's going to spawn. It was Chimera's last time. We need to get this route open. This would be really damn useful. Hello. The doorknob has been repaired. What a great man. All hail. Right. So we'll open this with an old key. Right. I don't remember the damn puzzle solution for this. This is one I should really remember. What's in here? Oh my god, there's a million dogs. There's a million fucking dogs in here. I don't want anything to do with this room. Fuck that. That is... That, that room can... That room can go to heaven. I don't want anything to do with that. That is... Ugh. That is disgusting. But I need to open it to... No, it's not even worth the effort. It's not worth the damn effort. I... No. 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 
I would. I don't bother putting in any more of the solution gate classics because I'm not doing that puzzle. That puzzle can uh, can go to hell. We're doing it the other way. Zombie noises. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say to hell with the game. And instead, we're just going to open the door from the other side <laughs> and find out whatever that item is. Whether this is going to break the game or not a bit, I don't quite know. Because you're not normally supposed to be able to do this. Oh, the door. Hmm. That door's kind of broken, everyone. I mean, it's possible. Get out of here. Ah, the second set of of uh, mansion music. Good times. I still I don't know why this music doesn't play like in the central hallway. Kind of weird. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is instead we're just gonna we're just gonna do it this way. <laughs> Say the hell of the game. But again, this shouldn't work. In theory, this should kind of break... This could break the game. I'm not totally telling you that this won't break the game a bit. It might get confused. Because you're not supposed to be able to get this door open without doing the uh, the wall here. So this could be interesting. Also, yeah, control room key. There you go. Control room key is the power room key. It's the same thing. Hopefully this doesn't break the game. There's the cylinder. So, as you can see here, uh, ha, doesn't exist, does exist, doesn't exist, does exist. Bye, puzzle. I might have to take the long route around, but you know what? I don't even care. It's probably safer to go the long route around than have to deal with that damn room. Oh, they know I'm there, but they can't do anything about it. So we have the cylinder. This is good. We can now use that to do that mess. Um, We need to do the... <sighs> that puzzle next, don't we? We need to do yeah, that puzzle. So let's go and do that everyone. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's not go that way. That's that's a that's a bad way. Let's go another way. Let's go this way. Oh! <sighs> Oh! Well. We're never entering that room ever again. Yeah, we're never going there ever again. That that room that room is dead to us, everyone. That room is also dead to us, everyone. <laughs> God, son of a bitch. Oh. Right. So I guess we are going this way after all. The game has decreed as such. Yes, the tyrant... The tyrant got busy while we were away. Got busy. That's not awkward at all. So I guess we're taking this route.
I'm sure Wesker would be proud. I don't know how safe this room is, everyone. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, I know, right? That's the nature of the item randomizer. You just... Would you please stop hitting me? What the? That was... That was weird, everyone. They're gonna die. Come on, you fuckers. Anyone else? Are we done? I think we're done. I think they learned their lesson. This music's still playing, because Richard's still technically in the bed, except he's obviously not. This game is totally fucked. Alright, we use this. There we go. We shall drop the cylinder. We certainly don't need that. The old key's there. The cranks are done. So, yeah. There's not really much left for us to do in that respect. The sheet music. Yeah. If we're lucky, we might find, like, another, uh, some more shotgun shells or something. Or the Magnum. Magnum would be good. I'd appreciate the Magnum. Oh! Oh, you're not done yet! <laughs> you are now. Alright, okay. Let's go and do the piano stuff, then. Where the fuck is this Magnum? It's ridiculous how far away this is. It's looking... I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we, 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 I, we need to find this Magnum. It's going to be difficult to beat the game without it. It's going to be difficult to beat the game. But we're not exactly walking around with tons of health either, so... Uh... Yeah. Well, tons of other weaponry for that matter. Okay, then. So let's uh, crack on with this. Yeah. Chris, not the piano type. It's me, Chris. Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? <laughs> the remake just showed out right to hold his beer. <laughs> I still love Chris's reaction. It's so great. He's like, yeah, it's all right. And then, no, this ain't too good. <laughs> oh, what was that? My interpretation good is stuff. off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yeah, sure. The game might break sure. if I don't tell you. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I think I never I understood. Won't. So if you tell Rebecca not to practice, what does that actually, like, impact? Like, she still kind of does it anyways. I've never really known. Never, never particularly known. Uh... What? What? <laughs> what is this? That is so weird. The music. That is so fucking weird. Fascinating. Fascinating.
So heading to the main hall is what triggers the uh, the thing to be done, right? You said. Yep. She's still there. I know. I know. It's a rough world. It's too dangerous to open this door. What compared to the rest of this fucking place? I so hope this actually does this because this is like the only thing that's outstanding that we can't do anything with yet. Also, we're probably going to need to kill that dog too. Well, it's dead. I don't think she's done with the piano. I say, you said, um, someone said that it, was, it has to be, de it's down to like, um, uh, like entering that thing or something. Like entering the main halls. Sort of calls that flag to trigger. I have no idea. But it's kind of like, I need her to kind of do it so we can carry on with the game. <laughs> Oh, Chris, okay. I think I got it. Okay, fair enough. We've heard it before. You don't need to hear it again. I know that might sound like kind of like heaving this thing. I just blocked out and we like snutter, but it's done now. It's done. You can't take that back. So we'll get this done. We'll grab the uh, diary. Why not? Of course, I'm I'm fine. Were you all right in there? Yeah. He's like, yeah. Of course, I'm all right, Rebecca. What could possibly happen? <laughs> ah well. I am slightly keeping an eye on time constraints here, so I kind of get cracking on with this. I don't have forever to finish this run. <laughs> And we're so close to beating it, I kind of don't want to run this over till uh, tomorrow. Uh, where am I going? I don't know what I'm doing. So the hope is uh, that, like, doing this is going to give us a load of key items to, like, get rid of these last couple of rooms in here. And then we can just focus with the, uh, the end of the game. That's the logic. Open, sure. So we want to turn the large gear twice in one direction, make it six o'clock. Oops. Yeah, yeah, I know the boss ocean. Me place for Lisa Trevor convention. Everyone's a cosplayer. Uh I do not know how to answer that question. Yeah, I'd be pretty fucking frightened. Please be something useful. then let's I would agree I've already got six of these I think I'd have taken the herb oh man no I'm not surprised but I'm still I'm still marginally disappointed <laughs> all right then was it an ink ribbon? Yes, it was. Actually, you know, you're right. It was an ink ribbon. Yeah, nah, fair enough. Fair enough. Still not great. I nearly left that one in disgust, too. Oi! Don't do that. 
do that, shark. That's rude. Well, we found both the x-rays, so it wasn't going to be either of any of them. Hello. Ow. What's my leg? All right, let's um, let's go and uh, let's go do the underground courtyard bit. Then that's the next bit that we haven't done. And hopefully we find the rest of these damn key items because if we end up getting to a point like this old key, I think it's like the last. I think we could actually beat the game at this point. So I'm kind of doing this because we need the damn magnum and we desperately need it. Yes. That's 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 how you that's like good solid professional wrestling selling there. You get hit in the leg and he's holding his waist injured. <laughs> I, I I do intend to finish this tonight. I don't want this overrunning to tomorrow because there's not really much left of it to be done. Which means I've got about half an hour ish or so to do this. Um Ow! I think I'm just gonna take it from the item box because of time constraints. Um, it'd be kind of cool to walk it back, but I think I think there's something I'm gonna leave for you guys to explore if you want to, to do that sort of thing. Again, time constraints. I'm doing another run of this tomorrow? No, no. This was going to be the last run of uh, this game I was going to do. For, uh, before uh, Remake 2. Where I finished it today or tomorrow. That's true. We still don't know what's on the other side of that. That's a fair point. Have I gone the right way? I have gone the correct way for once. My goodness. Yeah, if there's a Lisa or a Tyrant in either of those rooms, that's that's bad times. Okay, so yeah, we didn't even do that boss fight in the in the uh, room randomizer. That boss fight didn't even happen. Okay, so we use that. Code is four two three one. That does not change either. No barrier to join us, of course, but that's fine. A lot of weird shit happened that first run. A lot of weird, weird shit happened. Let's take the elevator down. Now, we've already killed Lisa as such, so she shouldn't spawn in here? You had this situation on the Jill run. Let's see how this plays out. Yep. I think uh, she's not in here either, because we've technically killed her. Green her, that's cool. Yeah, Barry, yeah, that was, that was some mighty bizarre stuff that happened in there. It was it was entertaining for sure. Really enjoyed it. So much strange there. Yeah, shot boy, B boy. Um I think Spider Boy. I should have said Spider Man, shouldn't I? God damn it. Never mind. The moment's lost everyone. The moment's lost. You can go to hell. I, I guess I could make some room for you in my inventory. Yeah. I suppose I could let you come along. Good thing we came down here, wasn't it? That was, uh, that was inspired. All right, then. We have potential to win the game now. This is good. I 
just realized something really strange. For those of you guys that were here for the uh, the room run uh, we did yesterday, you remember how we actually we came into this room fairly early on and we did this box puzzle. We never went to the room where this ele where the elevator actually goes. We never went in there. We never found it. I don't think it was accessible. A bit, me and Cool Mag actually spent a little bit of time afterwards, and a couple of others. Uh, I posted the cheat sheet files onto the Discord server um, for us to have a look at, and we, we established that there's actually a set of rooms in the game that are like looped in on each other, so you physically can't you can't do anything with any of it. Um, you physically can't enter. Like there's, there's about about a dozen or so rooms at least of the game you just cannot enter. In fact, probably more than that. So my theory about like the one-way doors kind of like blocking entry wasn't a million miles away from the truth. Now whether it's always those set rooms that are never available, I don't know. Maybe it randomly kind of decides that, I'm not sure. But uh, for sure we, um, we we couldn't access them in the run and as it turned out we couldn't access them at all. We uh, checked the cheat sheet and it was not available. I think that might have something to do with the fact that the game works on effectively reduced item spawns because there's no keys. So rather than just giving you even more spawns of weaponry and health and ink ribbons and stuff, self-defense items, it just makes said, right, let's just take out some rooms and kill like 30 item spawns or something. Or however many to account for all of the items that we wouldn't be getting. I guess. I was like the because uh, obviously we turned on like the fuel supply capsule uh, option to make it totally armed immediately uh, the first time uh, in the previous run, but we couldn't actually uh, we never found the the app the uh, fuel supply capsule. And that's because it was I was unaccessible because it ultimately wasn't needed. So it was interesting. It was interesting looking through the cheat sheet for the room randomizer to find out that there were several things I just couldn't access. Let's drop some inventory here, guys, while I'm thinking about it. In particular, that. And sure, we'll change it. Never hurts to have a little bit of health on you. You know, in case of disasters. We're not really in any particular danger at the moment, but. Eh. Effectively, it allows us speed run, but again, if you don't know the route you're going, well, I mean, you've still got to find a set of key items. You've got to find the two stone ob and metal objects. You need, what, five key items? So you need stone metal object, you need uh, the stone object and the metal object to make the second one, and then you need to find the two, uh, the two uh, metals in order to activate the elevator to go down to the labs. So you still have to find, effectively, five key items. But I know what you mean. But yeah, the room randomizer was, like, just total sequence breaking, for sure. A lot of mind-fucking going on there. Not to say the first run wasn't mind-fucking when we did the initial, uh, randomized run, but still. I know what you mean. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's a nice find. Thank you, Lisa. I know you were keeping those safe for me. Uh, I don't. I don't care about the barrels. I care about these. Not insignificant. I don't know what she's doing with this though. Sure, she's just keeping it safe for us, right? Keeping it dry? Yeah, keeping it dry. I can. Yeah. <laughs> That's my head cannon. Yeah, it's actually not been too bad. We managed not to soft. We don't think. Doesn't look like we've soft locked the game. Uh, yeah, the initial was was just a complete. Was was very very comical. It's very entertaining. Um, I would wager. This might be a controversial statement to make, but I might wager that I think, um, judging from exp the experience I've had so far with this, uh, let's just move these down just to get these a bit closer to my inventory. I would perhaps wager that 
um, if you, uh, like, you, the viewer, decide that you want to go ahead and do, like, um, do this, get this game, install the randomizer mod, um, and run this, I would suggest that... I think doing this as Jill is probably more interesting. That's not to say that driving this with Chris isn't, but I actually think there's more potential for madness with Jill, because obviously there's several times where, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, there's several times where, um, you know, obviously Barry can spawn and then he, like, turns into crazy stuff. Um, you've also got the... Ah, shit. You've also got the fun in games. Oh, my God. I'm going to get murdered here. You've also got the fun in games of that, the the four plant... The four um, empty jars for the Plant 42 um, chemical stuff is added into the item randomization. So you don't necessarily know how... Where they're going to be. Um... And also having the extra inventory space does mean you ha don't have to do quite as many like repeat trips between um, item boxes, which is a problem. Especially when the items are randomized, you don't know what you're going to run into. When you're running the game and you know what's going to be where, you can kind of plan ahead. But when it's all randomized, you are up in the lack of the gods, which is a problem. And Barry's elevator duty is always entertaining. I don't think the health makes a huge difference overall. Uh, maybe on hard mode it has an impact, but I, I honestly don't think there's much difference uh, with the uh, with the health between Jill and Chris. It's kind of noticeable. I'm sure if I did this with hard mode with Jill, I'd say, "Oh yeah, there is a difference," but I don't think it makes. I don't think it makes a huge, huge difference. Well, that's just me. Oh, yeah, there's been significantly less item spawns, which has reduced my inventory capacity significantly, for sure, 100%. No, no question about that. Um, you know, I think at this sort of stage on the first run, we were running around with, like, um, yeah, we had tons of shotgun shells we've been using. We had, like, a fair few magnum rounds. Our hanging rounds was not bad. And we had, like, ten full heals or something. We've only got four, I think. And our ammo is decidedly limited. So the, the, the impact of hard mode um, is certainly noticeable on the randomizer run. 100%. Yeah, I had an absolute bucket ton of ammo. I couldn't, I couldn't find enough things to use it on. And certainly while you can notice the difference between normal and hard mode standardly anyways, I think uh, I think the randomizer mode actually possibly exacerbates that situation even more, I would reckon. Let's quickly just throw this in here while I'm in the direction. Free up some inventory space. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, certainly. I, I mean, I will certainly say I have. I have really, really enjoyed. It. It's, it's kind of cool to be able to play this. You know, this game. We come back to it obviously every now and again. The original Resident Evil, in some form or another. And I've really, really enjoyed the randomizer mod. It has um, made things very interesting uh, and very eventful. And yeah, certainly when it comes to like the initial run, there was just so much comedy, <laughs> so much strange stuff happened. And it was great. It was really good. This has been very challenging. Um, I've had to, uh, you know, this has, this has pushed me, for sure. But I would suggest, certainly if you're running with, like, randomized enemies and items, I think running it with Jill is, I think, probably a slightly more entertaining experience than Chris. Just because the way that, kind of, the game works. That is very fucking good. How can you argue with that? So, six hours plus into this stream, we finally kill the plant with the herbicide. What's this? Gemstone? I should have guessed. Alright then. I think we are... Uh, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done with this.
we've we've got the uh we got the magnum we got some magnum rounds we got some shotgun shells we've got some health i think we have enough supplies to probably kill the game yeah that's a fair shout actually we should um yeah Let's do that. Let's do the yawn fight or whatever the yawn fight we turn into. Do I just the handgun? Tempting, but suicidal. Let's go get the shotgun out, kids. Uh, where am I going? Go this way. Of course, we have to take the slightly longer route because I didn't take the gallery key with me. So we have to go slightly long route, but it's not that bad. Uh, we haven't got a spare red herb around everywhere. No. Just a load of greens. Let's drop that. Grab the shotgun. Grab some shells. Uh, that looks bizarre. There we go. That's bizarre. I'm going to take both guns. I'm going to try and use the handgun. Depends what the enemy is. If it's something a bit more stiff, then we'll just shotgun it. Quick thought. Before we do this, let's save the game. Not so much as a fear of failing... But more so, well, it has been commented a few times that this boss fight can be a bit dodgy. So let's, uh, just in case, eh? 